Oh, Blackman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Housing Communities and Local Government Select Committee uh, produced an excellent report on leasehold reform. And with the doubling of ground rents, outrageous charges for permission for minor improvements and the absolute scandal of developers selling the freeholds without even contacting leaseholders, this market is broken. Does my right honourable friend agree with me that we cannot rely on voluntary codes to set this right and we need legislation in this House to restore fairness to the housing market? Well, can I, can I first of all thank the Select Committee for their report? Can I also thank my honourable friend for the way in which he has championed issues around, uh, around housing? And uh, uh, you know, his, uh, his act is already having an effect on homelessness uh, reduction. Uh, we've already committed to legislate to reduce ground rent on future leases to a peppercorn. For current leaseholders, we have been working with the industry to get existing leases with onerous ground rent terms changed to a better deal. Um, leaseholders of flats do have a right, right of first refusal when their freeholder is planning to sell the property. We're considering introducing a right of first refusal for house lessees as well. And last year we made our commitment to consider a range of changes, facing a uh, range of charges facing leaseholders and freeholders, including permission fees, uh, and in what circumstances they're justified and whether they should be capped or banned. And I've asked Lord Best to chair a working group to look at regulating and professionalising property agents. We're carefully considering the Select Committee's report, but my honourable friend is absolutely right. If we believe that a market is not working properly, then we should act to deal with that.